people welcome back so it's the same gist this is just gonna be me blabbing going through my list seeing what works whether I remember it what doesn't so uh, put this on the background enjoy yourself and just alt tab when you actually hear something that I get enthusiastic or you enjoy because I know this is a this is not interesting. You know what? Let's let's see if I can adjust some some stream things and kind of make this actually more enjoyable. Well, I can stretch out. Yeah, I can do this. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, here we go. Enjoying the AMSR people filters. Yeah, let's do that. And I will get a left and right. All right, 250, 250, 300, 400, 400, close. That looks weird and squashed, but you know what? It doesn't matter because I can go like this and we're back to a proper aspect ratio. That's a little bit like that. There we go. It's not. It, it's weird and funky, but okay. Now you can actually see the stuff better if you were paying attention. So let us begin or continue. All right, infra. This is tickling the back of my mind. I believe this is a adventure game, and basically you are. A security guard and you're just going through security and I believe the world is I believe the world is under you know it's a cyber post-apocalyptic cyberpunk type of deal everybody survey is um, monitoring you and surveillance you I believe I picked this up because it's a recommendation of that you are basically a janitor you're a janitor going in all these industrial areas figuring it out. I don't recall how it was recommended. I think maybe through horror games, but yeah, you're playing a janitor going through industrial areas. Yeah, that's what it kind of intrigued me. Opus Magnum. Okay, this is this is a series of games by Zachtronics, and basically what it is is it's a puzzle game, but the puzzles are all programming. It's on my wish list because there's the other game that's on Congregate. It's called Alchemy Labs, I believe. Congregate for free. Gate. And basically, you, you make these little machines. Play Alchemy. No. Um, so basically here, let's see. Add free, blah, blah, blah. Your game will start. Okay, fine. Is this it? So basically, is you have these little machines, and you use these little machines to make stuff, kind of like Factorio. Th there we go. This is the game. This this is Factorio before Factorio. This is not it. Um, uh, this is the game of it. And basically, it's okay. You have the little codex of alchemical engineering, magnum opus. Okay. So yeah, actually let's play the video of it. Okay, so basically as you build these little machines and this stuff, it's a puzzle game. But the thing is the mechanics in here is programming. I, I did computer science for college. I am a programmer, software engineer, or I studied it if anyone hired me. Um, and so this is the game I... It's on my to-do list to play because this is what I should do. I've, I've gotten through Puzzle 5, but the thing is when I look up for help, is not only do I have solutions to these games, they're elegant. My goodness. It's... if For the for those that are not math-based, elegant means like you... The joke of elegant is that it's less than 10 lines to prove something or to solve or to do something, like to program something, or to prove a mathematical thing. And the joke is, for every line less than 10 is a year of 
studying graduating. So basically, not only are there solutions to these games, they're elegant solutions. You have this machine right here is possibly the absolute minimum amount of tools in order to get the solution. So I'm like, oh, it just puts me to shame. So Magnum Opus here is that is more of that type of game. Of I believe it might be the sequel of it, like the official sequel of Spiritual Successor. So basically, you make machines to make more machines. If you like Factorio, this is probably oh, it's Magnum Opus. It probably is the the actual um, the web game. Anyways, okay, Vanquish. I believe this is recommend this. I just have this because of the Platinum game. I ha I have Bayonetta one and two. I have yet to play them. So this is just uh, I just know this is going to be a very a very kick ass pew pew blow blasting explosion super fun game. I just don't know if I could possibly run it. And I think it's been super cheap, but it's like I have Bayonetta. I need to play it. Vanquish Platinum Games. Mystic Bell. Okay, this I believe was recommended via my the little um the Twitter circle of 8-bit sprite pixel animators and whatnot, and I believe Yacht Club Games also did a shout out to this. Uh, this is a very, uh, very nice Metroidvania, uh, cute, yeah, just a cute Metroidvania where you're just a little witch exploring, you know, knockoff Hogwarts, um, uh, pew pew, you know. Yeah, it's so great. So I believe yeah, I believe Yacht Club Games uh, recommended it. So yeah, it's not that my uh, uh, to you know I'm not dying for it because I'm I've yet although I've played a couple of Metroidvania games I'm kind of ambivalent on it. Okay, The Messenger. Everybody knows this. It's Metroidvania and uh, Ninja Gaiden. So it's basically Ninja Gaiden that's balanced and very giant open world type of thing. I think my complaint about Metroidvania games is I don't. Maybe it's because I played the actual Metroid games and I don't like the Metroid, the original Metroid games, because it's literally bomb the entire walls to find the secret passage. You're not exploring. You're literally. It's um. You're painting in the map. You're not exploring. You're actually looking at the little mini map, filling in all the gaps, and literally hitting every single wall. I'm not sure that is enjoyable. I don't know so much about other Metroidvania games and where they're more polished. I've not played Symphony of the Night. I know it's a it's a major major mistake. I should go play it right now, but okay, Messenger to get maybe I'm just aware, you know. This is more of like an example like this is a very nominal game, you know, very well known. Other people would like it. That's why it's on my list. It's not on my to die for. Okay, Texorcist. Uh, Story of Ray Bibia. This is Typing of the Dead, except you're an exorcist. Um, and I teach religious education, religious, uh, yeah, religious education, and so it's a, uh, it's a religion game. It's it's a personal inside joke. I'm pretty sure if you've been around the channel or stream, <clears throat> I'm comfortable with theology and philosophy and. So are my viewers and actually the various communities around. I've actually kind of I'm known as that guy and basically like when like for the the council and I keep I think the other what's the other one? The one with the rats. Plague Tales, the rats thing, uh my friends were saying like, Oh, I wish you were here because you can explain these uh you can explain the artwork and the meaning of the pictures, like the 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 mid basically the medieval, because medieval everything was allegorical and art and whatnot. So yeah, this is Typing of the Dead. It is um, religious exorcist theme, and actually, I this is they do actually use the words for um, the Catholic ritual of exorcism. Um, yeah, not that it's super important or as dramatic as people think it is, but yeah. Okay, Terra of Hemosaurus. This is basically Rampage, Rampage, but cute and chibi. It is an early access. I believe I caught this on Imager of like the demo of the sprites. Really haven't heard anything since it's kind of first mentioned, I want to say two years ago. Yeah, but this is just like chibi, cute, rampage, pixel art. Hopefully, modern polish. Rise of the Triad. 
I don't know. It has the word Apogee. I believe this is this is on my to-do list of uh, learning what classic first-person shooters are, and I believe this is a hidden gem or something very unique. Pardon me. So yeah, I believe the fact that this is mixed is why I kind of have it or might include it because I like C games. I like games that are kind of more unique rather than, or at least in my, I say I want this. I don't know if it would, I actually am, but you know, something that tries something new rather than something I know will enjoy, even though I'll enjoy what I enjoy. All right, Xanadu next. This is from Xseed. I liked them when they were just first starting out and they only had five translated games. They brought out Fishing Resort. They brought out Ragnarok Online. What else? I knew them before Project Rainfall with the Wii. Not being hipster or whatever. Not, are they hipsters anymore? No, anyways. So this is uh, Xanadu. This is part of the Dragon Slayer series. This is the same series as Trails in the Sky. So this is, um, if you like action RPGs such as Secret of Mana or East, uh, this is, or Faxanadu, this is, um, yeah, this is part of that series. So yeah. Gang of Four. Okay. This I have via board games, and I believe Days of Wonder is a company that does very good modern hobbyist board games, so like Catan. I believe Settlers of Catan, most people know of. Uh, those type of board games. And I believe this there was a sale of Days of Wonder's things, and I was looking on Steam because I don't have real people to play. And I believe this was recommended or saying this is a very good game that is not actually a board game. This only exists as a computer game and so this is a it seems it's a card game it seems that you want to play it as it's a rummy or gin or gin game and I believe there's deduction kind of like clue I just have it as this is a, a video game exclusive it does not exist in reality all right Prier Solaire and the great architects Classic RPG, this I have as a homage to, I believe, Fantasy Star. Like, this game is explicitly, let's do Fantasy Star, but good. Well, not but good, but, you know, um, a re-understanding, a, re, a, a re-knowing of it, you know, a remake, reimagining. You know, this is just homage to Fantasy Star. So, Pierre Solar and the Great Architects, homage to Sega Genesis RPGs. Duskers, okay. This is kind of old. Basically, you are controlling a robot. A ro you're controlling a Roomba, and you're going inside these various abandoned spaceships and exploring with the Roomba. In order to actually control the game, you have to type out actual programming code, console things. So you have to do this thing, the black screen of death that everybody is afraid about. You know, this. You know, it's like. You have to actually use those type of deals <clears throat> to control and command the Roombas. And different Roombas have different things. So there's a battery life, there's armor for defense, they have different scanners. They can scan for sound, they can stand for heat, and they can for light. I'd enjoy it. Programming, I'm probably too lazy to actually go beyond the first two levels. So with Duskers. Hell Sign. Very interested in this game because of how to survive. This is an isometric game. I bl I don't know. I don't want to say it's it's an action RPG. Isometric controls is not a looter shooter. It's going to have a distinct story, and basically you are a paranormal investigator. So you go out and explore these haunted locations or supernatural locations or you're basically doing the x-files and figure out what's going on in the story still in early access for a very long time yeah very interested in it but you know policy do not purchase do not pre-order do not do early access even though you want it so yeah hell sign Momodaru and Reverie of the Light. 
I believe this is just advertised as Metroidvania action uh, action game, pixel graphics, just gorgeous style. Just under their recommendation. Um, that's about it, you know. Uh, nothing I know distinct about it. Just you know, pixel art, Metroid. Quest Hunter. I have no idea. I believe this quite possibly is me trying to research, I believe, mobile games on PC and possibly ones that don't suck. Is this for free? Maybe not. Maybe this is a... Uh... It says cooperative and loot. I don't know. Quest Hunter. This is something I need to investigate more into. Yeah, I think it's just... I believe this came on through various... um recommendations uh, a curation of um, you know here are games similar to that it strikes me as being mobile even though it's not mobile okay quest hunter secrets of grindia okay this <coughs> recommendation I believe this these people are trying to do homage to secret of mana hence the actual term the name secret of grindia I believe this was just through curation of recommendation of more pixel art, classic RPG type of styles, early access, and whatnot. Astiva, Astivan Divos. Okay, Chemco game RPG. So, SNES 8 16-bit RPG is by Chemco. I believe I got this because I mentioned before Chemco does a lot of mobile games. But they they're known for doing good mobile games. So these are mobile games that are on the PC and they're good. I believe also maybe these are mobile games that are also on the Switch and also on the 3DS. So I believe I'm repeating myself. Steam used to be good for games. Now they basically let everybody on. It's full of junk. Nintendo still curates, and so if you want a game on the Nintendo platform, their eShops. It has to be good. So I believe this is a RPG by Chemco that's good. Steam Dolls Order of Chaos, I, uh, Cyberpunk, Metroidvania. You play as a cyborg. I believe this was just on a top 10 list. This has a demo, and that's about it. So yeah, just Cyberpunk, Metroidvania. I have to play test research it more. Secret of Mana HD, love the Mana series. It was a uh, Final Fantasy Adventure, Mystic Quest if you're in Europe, Seiken Densetsu, uh, Final Fantasy Gaiden. It was the second game I ever beat in my life. Love the story. I like the first trilogy. Legend of Mana, uh, I acknowledge is good, but it's, it's too clunky, and everything else is just a, a giant cluster. I already have it. I would only purchase it because I want to support the Mana series and kind of vote with my wallet to Square Enix. I like the series. Square quit jerking it around for um, Kingdom Hearts. I didn't purchase it right away because it's at the time, which still exists, of Square. Just when they put something on a computer it's just absolute garbage it's full of bugs they don't test it and so yeah I believe this crashed uh, via the auto saves I believe all these bugs are fixed so now I can purchase it but I'm not going to I just have it as a thingy I really really hope now that they have trials of mana HD that they do collection of mana HD so it's the first three games of the mana series the 3d versions the there's a 3d version of the Game Boy game it's only on Vita and and Android mobile devices and I purchased it for mobile and I played it beat it love it you don't like money square uh, I know that's a joke but um Oninaki don't no don't remember I believe this is just recommended um action RPG it's by square and there's a demo um, download the demo, yes, and play test it. Uh, 
Okay, that's done. 30XX. Okay, this is equal to 20XX. This is basically Mega Man X roguelike. So, random stages, random weapons, random bosses. Everybody loves it, like Nuclear Throne. You like Mega Man X? Uh, get it. This is sequel. I just finally bought 20XX in the most recent sale, which is the autumn sale? Thanksgiving sale? Pre-Black Friday sale? Whatever. Finally bought the first one. Yeah. More Mega Man. Recordos Lotus War. Delit Wonder Labyrinth. Okay. I watched Lotus War when it was in the in the late 90s. In anime, you had to get pirated from uh, copied VHS tapes in Chinatown um, in my neck of the woods. Oh, just, uh, just watching Sailor Stars in Japanese. No subtitles and just... Oh, anyways. Just for a glimmer of that weird um, anime stuff. So basically... It's just a recommendation of retro of uh, uh, 2D Metroidvania that's really good. It seems to go for like a really close uh, Symphony of the Night aesthetic. So I know who D-Lit is. I know who this world is. Um, early access, just have it. You know, play testing more. I'm not I'm not Gaga for this series or whatever, but I believe although I do believe in watching the the gameplay. I do believe I liked the mechanics of how she combos with the weapons, how she switches the weapons, and kind of uses sub-items, magic spells, and utilities. That seemed very clear to me and something I understood, which is kind of very unique. Um, that I, I saw the various mechanics and control and tactics you have in the game from just watching it. Okay, Death's Gambit. Metroidvania, Souls-like. Yeah, so it's just a 2D Souls game, gorgeous pixel graphics, a recommendation type list. I've yet to beat Dark Souls once the first time. I've gotten through the I've gotten through the the hard part. I know how I I comprehend the game. I've gotten through the huge hurdle. I've just yet to beat it. Cuz if if I got to play it, I need to play it for like 3 hours cuz I know it's going to take 1 hour just trying to learn the area and not die even though I can take my sweet time. It just it's the two hours for that you know, that thirty minutes to find the good bonfire. Okay, bright memory. No clue. Uh Pew Pew Gun Shooty Action Shooty first person game. I do not know. It has stuff about RTX. I don't care about RTX. I think maybe I saw this on a YouTuber uh, uh, video game news channel in the background and I enjoyed it and I added it. So I think the gameplay is fun. Or at least it looks fun from the actual gameplay footage. Okay. Undertale, I know all about it. It's earthbound, very emotional. I know the choices, Matt, that the, they respect the choices you make. Yeah. Shadowgate. This is a remake of the classic Shadowgate game. I know it's old. I know what I'm getting to. I know it has a hint system. I know they mix things up and it's a bit more interesting than the original Shadowgate. So yeah, it's... I could watch a let's play of it, I could play it for myself, I will probably just do a let's play of it, or at least watch a video of it, so... Uh, whatever, this is a... a, a game of, of, of... not notoriety... a game of notice, like, uh, important, you know. Little Witch No Better. Okay, this I know from Iron Pineapple on YouTube. Iron Pineapple is totally dedicated to Souls games and Dark Souls. Like, he does the thing. So this was recommended. He does, like... His community tells him, these games are Souls-like. And the thing is, they actually go... It's not just... It's not just a joke about, this is the Dark Souls of blah, blah, blah. They actually know the genre and the, the sub-genre the sub of the Souls games. And so this is recommended. It's a Souls game. So... Intense combat. Um, you're a cute witch, and instead of being melee, it's more magical pew pew. 
So you have your basic shot, lightning, fire, ice. This purple basic shot, you have infinite. The other ones are stronger, but they use up your stat, your ma your magic meter, which is more akin to stamina. I mean, you have the stamina, so like you can dodge roll like twice and then have to wait. So you do powerful spells, and then you have to wait to kind of recharge. So you juggle that. There is a demo of it, I believe. And so yeah. And it's souls like, yeah, it's very, you know, you have the waypoints, you have the bonfires, the switches, very intense kind of boss and positioning. A Dark Souls Monster Hunter type of com uh, you know, type of combat. Uh it seems to be more forgiving than those games, so yeah. Little Witch no better. Elderborn. I believe this is through a recommendation in that I like Vermintide like I have Vermintide and I have Left 4 Dead 2. They're both horde games where it's co-op you it's online, tons and tons of monsters coming to you, you just try to survive, move forward. I prefer Vermintide to Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead I just feel very out of my element. Vermintide, it's the exact same game except it's fantasy instead of modern, and you have a sword. Swords are your primary attack and you have guns guns your secondary weapons are guns like it's literally the same it has the same power up same heal mechanics so i believe elderborn here is just recommended as a first person it's a first person game but it's melee not shooter okay so if you like vermintide if you like chivalry but it actually has like a campaign and not just multiplayer this seems to be it repeating myself Last Door Season 2, I have Season 1 and GOG, so this is a very, this is a homage to early point and click games, You Cannot Die, very spooky, very atmospheric, on my to-do list, it's super cheap. I get to replay the first one again to remember the story, but it's more like, I'm going to get it, or at least more like, it's the it's an adventure game, so I was like, should I get it or should I just watch a video of it, you know? But no, it was very, the very first, the first season was very enriching and engrossing on finding secrets and whatnot. Uh, subject matter is dark, you know. Not as dark as I have no mouth and I must scream, but, you know, it does, you know, it's Lovecraft. There's murders and suicides and, and whatnot. So, uh, good. Oh, and it's through this developer that I learned about the game Blasphemous, which now people know which Blasphemous is the Dark Souls 2D game that's religious. This, These people, Kitchen Game, the Kitchen Game, um, did that 2D Dark Souls first. Or at least they had the advertisement of this 2D Dark Souls Blasphemous, this one. I'm going to bring it up because I don't have it, Blasphemous. Or at least it's not on my wish list because I actually purchased it. Okay, come up, come up. Okay, 2D Dark Souls. Yeah, the kitchen, the kitchen game. So, yeah, it's this company is in Spain. They know and live the history of medieval Europe, and it's it's Christian theme. It's dark. It's horror, and they just go the whole thing. That's the whole Spanish Inquisition. Even though there's the teacher, there's the difference between the Spanish Inquisition and the Holy Inquisition and other and the actual branch of the Catholic Church that's was called the Inquisition that still exists is called the propagation of the doctrine of faith or the, the propagation of the defense of the doctrine of faith. It still exists. The Inquisition still exists. You didn't expect it. Dun dun dun. So yeah. So this thing here is an actual direct artistic reference to the auto de fe's in Spain of you know of the actual um, the actual Spanish Inquisition of are you Catholic or not and basically the Jews had to escape down to Africa to Morocco or pretend to be uh, Christian at the time and so this is kind of a reference of the auto de fe where the you know they have the parades of like taking all the heretical things putting them in and burning it so this you play as a, a heretic or, or a sinner in penance, and so you wear the 
this actual it wasn't a mask but they actually had the a metallic a hat of you know crown of thorns and dunce cap and be paraded as the uh, the fooled buffoon you know sh public shame so yeah and you know naked naked baby who is clearly possibly jesus because the crown of thorns is blindfolded eyes bleeding out held by a creepy skeleton yeah just love it this was before the other one the other the other 2d souls like dark devotion no blasphemous was i'm not saying they're stolen from each other i believe it's like parallel development but i saw this the pixel art for this first our lady of the charred visage yeah just oh, love the theme and drippingness <clears throat> okay so um that's a good point so uh thank you for listening to my rambling and um okay i'm gonna tell you goodbye and go and I actually do go even though this video is longer because i'm doing this through stream i have to wait 30 seconds for the stream to catch up and pour to youtube so when i say bye bye there's no secrets okay so ta ta so until next time i'm tiro and have fun gaming see ya